Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's time for another video from Pinnacle Studio Pro. Alright my Pinnacle peeps, it's time to introduce you to our website, PinnacleStudioPro.com. Let's go ahead and take a look. We're here. The PinnacleStudioPro.com website. All right, here we are on the home page. Now, on the home page is basically a great breakdown of all of the different features and articles and information and videos and all the goodness you get from the website. So basically, we got our product information, we got uh, plugins and add-ons that you can check out, uh, technical support, you know, all the best places to get that help for your videos. We got our reviews, our tutorials, and of course, our store. So, we might as well get it cracking, start jumping into some of these bad boys. But before I do that, I do want to just give you a little taste of the navigation. So, of course, you also got your navigation from the top navigation bar here, where you can jump to any one of these several pages that are available on the site. Let me go ahead and hit you up with some product info. You can access product information by going to the navigation bar and selecting products or selecting a specific product or the version comparison or you can actually click on the picture here on the home page or click on the link down here and you can get there. Doesn't really matter. Let's just go to the main page for product info. Now, once you're on the major page for product information, you'll see that you get to get information on Pinnacle Studio 17. You also get to get information on the Pinnacle Studio iPad app. And one of the big questions I get a lot is about which version of Pinnacle Studio has what. So the Pinnacle Studio version comparison gives you a lot of great information on which version of Pinnacle Studio has what. You got Ultimate, you got Plus, and then you just got the basic version. They all have different functions and features. So if we go ahead and go to this page here. You see that first we have the comparison chart. Now the comparison chart gives you basically the big meat of what each version has. And you'll see what I mean by that in a second. So it pretty much tells you the big functions that it has or it does not have. So it's a lot of great information here. So if you want to know how many effects come with each version, you want to know uh, if you have uh, dual monitor support or 3D support, this is the place to find that out. Now, there are different tools in each version as well. So if you want to know specific different tools, then you need to check out the differences in Pinnacle Studio versions file. Now, if we click on this, it'll take us to a little PDF file that actually gives us the different tools. Now, this is different than the comparison chart because this breaks it down to specific tools like whether you get uh, compositing or whether you get the solo function or not, whether you can change metadata or not. Um, whether you get a list view in a library or not, it's all types of very specific tools that this chart tells you if your version has or does not have. So this is like the more in-depth version and it's, it's pretty cool to have it and utilize it to find out exactly what is and what isn't in each version of Pinnacle. Want to learn about all the plugins and add-ons that roll with Pinnacle Studio? I think I do want to learn, so I'm going to click on the plugin and add-ons information here. 
So on the plugin and add-ons page, there are a lot of different features that you can choose from. Now you can go to the more popular types of, uh, um, I guess, software developers for plugins, get all the information on what ProDad has to offer. You can get all the information on what New Blue Effects has to offer. You can also purchase the ProDad products from this product page. Hopefully in the future we'll have the same functionality for New Blue Effects. And then you got the information on all the Red Giant software that uh, comes with the ultimate version of Pinnacle Studio 6, or I'm sorry, Pinnacle Studio 17. And then you got your free add-ons. So, and then we got our honorable mention, Boris Effects. Love me some Boris Effects. But, you know, just to show you a little something, let's jump to the, the free add-ons page. You know, the free add-ons page has great information and a bunch of great freebies. So on the free add-ons page, you'll see that you can get a bunch of stuff for free. If you don't have this stuff, jump on it and get it. You got stuff from uh, New Blue, which is a, a cartooner, which is free. Uh, some of you may already know Declic uh, Video Effects has a lot of great um, Hollywood um, transitions on there. You got to jump on those Hollywood effects. Uh, 20 cents video, a lot of great free stuff. Montages, uh, DVD menu buttons, the whole nine. Great freebies on there. Matter of fact, if you go to 20centsvideo.com, uh, make a donation, all right? You're getting stuff for free from them. They're just asking for a few dollars. That's a plug for you, 20 cents. Big plug for you. And then we got the Russian site, cdpods.biz. has a lot of free plugins that you can just jump on there and download for Pinnacle Studio. Make sure you check out and make sure which version is compatible with, though, before you start downloading stuff from there. Sometimes... You just need a helping hand. And when you need a helping hand, you need to check out our technical support site. Our technical support site has crazy info to help you with questions, issues, the whole nine. If we run through here, you got uh, patch history. You can access all of the patches that have come with Pinnacle Studio from right here. All right. Quick place to go get your patch updated. Or go get your software updated with the correct patch. Uh, technical support sites. This is a spot where you can find the right places to get help. Whether it's a forum, website, whatever. This is a spot to go find help with Pinnacle Studio. And then we got a great bit of info from your boy Jeff Naylor. Whose website is PinnacleStudio.info. He gave us great information on how to reset Pinnacle Studio. Sometimes there may be a corrupt file. Or you did something that affects the program and it just isn't acting right anymore. Resetting Pinnacle Studio brings it back to its original state and knocks out all of those crazy errors that you might have been seeing if those errors were caused by uh, something that's going wrong with the uh, program, whether it's registry or... Uh, just corrupt files or whatever. This is the way to get your stuff cleaned up and get Pinnacle Studio acting right again. Keep in mind, if you do it, it does reset all your watch folders. All right, you gotta know that. If you don't wanna reset your watch folders, don't do this. I'd like to review a few things that we've discussed during this video. That's our cue to go to the review section, baby. So let's check it out. Now, there are a lot of different reviews that we've done over the years, people, so you've seen them on YouTube and I have a lot of people ask me did you do a review on this Did you do one on that well guess what I put them all in one spot this way you can check them out and you don't have to go to try to search for stuff on YouTube they will all be here I got all of the Pinnacle Studio reviews that I've done for each version of Pinnacle Studio that I have done a review for I got all of the plugin reviews that I've done for all the plugins I've reviewed I got all the video equipment reviews that I've done so if you like watching videos that are fun and informative, then come to this page and check out all of the reviews that your boy, Pinnacle Studio Pro, has knocked out for you over the years. You will learn a lot of information watching these reviews. Tutorials are the foundation of learning in the new millennium. I know I sounded real excited about that uh, something, but you know. Let's calm it down a bit and just check out the tutorials. As I said about the reviews, same thing goes for the tutorials. I've done a lot over the years. 
all right? And I want to make sure that you guys have a location to find them easily. You don't need to have to search all over YouTube to find a Pinnacle Studio Pro tutorial when they're all right here in your grill, okay? On PinnacleStudioPro.com. So I got all of the effects videos that I've done. I've got all of the tips and tutorials and basic tutorials that I've done. And then I just wanted to show my YouTube peeps a little bit of love, give you some info on uploading videos to YouTube. All right, just to make it real simple for you. There's been a lot of bugs reported, this, that, and the other people always talking about how do you do it, how do you do it. Here are the tips and tricks you need to get it done. Keeping it simple for my pinnacle peeps, showing you some love worldwide via the web. If you're going to go shopping, you might as well shop at my store. This store is filled with products recommended by your boy, Pinnacle Studio Pro. So when you go through and you get your shop on, you can look for different types of software, different types of cameras, camcorders, camera support, lighting, accessories the whole nine are things that i recommend now all of the orders get fulfilled by amazon.com so buy with confidence people everybody knows that for online retailing amazon.com is the business and if you're gonna buy why not buy products that are recommended by your trusted source your boy pinnacle studio pro and the proceeds of anything that you buy, you know, will help us to continue the website, continue our videos and things like that. So if you want to support us and, you know, you haven't been able to support us in the past, if you're going to buy something, buy it from our site. Help support us to keep making videos, keep giving you info, keep building on the website and giving you the things you love every single day. One thing I wanted to do was go ahead and make sure I gave my pinnacle peeps a forum to make their voices heard so i decided to leave a little bit of room for you to leave a testimonial for pinnacle studio pro now this is a great place for you guys to come on and leave me feedback leave me feedback on the website leave me feedback on how you feel about the videos whatever i want your testimonials because the only way other people are going to know the quality of what i bring to the game is if they can see comments by other people out in the industry, comments by other users who are loving the software and appreciate the things that I do on our website. If you need to reach out to me for some reason, as long as it is not for technical support or questions about the software and things like that, if you need to reach out for any other reason, you got the contact form here. So you can contact us, it'll get to us you know, at PinnacleStudioPro.com and we'll be able to go ahead and respond to you if you follow the rules that are listed here on the Getting In Touch page. If you don't, then you won't receive a response. Sorry, can't respond to all kind of crazy gibberish and things like that. That's just the way it goes. Gotta be up on the blog, all right? Blogging is a big thing nowadays, so being able to go ahead and leave your thoughts, your comments on things that are going on in the world of video, in the world of Pinnacle Studio, this is where you're going to hear my thoughts and comments. You know, you also get them at Facebook, you also get them at Twitter, but you know, here's a spot that is coming straight from us, from our website. So you can go ahead and like these comments, share them, you can go ahead and, and uh, subscribe to the feed, all that good stuff from right here within our blog. All right, Pinnacle Peeps, I gave you the rundown, all right? You got the info, the first little glance, sneak peeks at the site. You need to drop on by, check it out, and take advantage of this free resource that is going to help you with Pinnacle Studio, all right? You guys know the routine. The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it. Hug it. Comments. Leave me your comments. I love comments, all right? If you ask me a question, I always answer it. And if I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help you need. And last, but 
definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe, baby. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Thank <laughs> you.